YouTube and welcome back after a extended break to Twitch's free games. I know it's been so long since I've been with you guys playing games uh, and I, you know uh, the reason why I haven't been doing it is basically I just didn't I didn't have any time didn't didn't really know what I was doing still I still don't really know what I'm doing but I'm just gonna kind of roll with it um yeah and the other thing is just it's been hard the screen capture you guys have a good free screen capture that isn't requiring an install then that would be awesome because this computer isn't mine this is my dad's computer so so I can't really do much with it because I can't install my own stuff on it. So I'm pretty much required to know install. But if you guys know one, um, right now I'm using s the screen recorder something. Screencast is what it's called. So yeah, let's get started with the game. This is called Pandemic 2. And basically... If you do not like Extinction of the Earth, this is not a game for you. But if you like challenging strategy games, this is one of those games. So we're just going to jump into new game. And we're going to go realistic. Because relax is too easy. We're, we're going to go realistic. And basically what you do is you make this disease. And then you use that disease, you upgrade it and stuff like that. To basically... Um, kill the entire human population. That's your goal. So, you know, you get these three options. Virus, bacteria, parasite. And you can read the stuff they do. I think I'm going to go with bacteria. And that's because there's a bonus to drug resistance, which is good. And it's, yeah, it's not really affected by the environment. I mean, it's normally so. Anyway, we're going to go with that, I guess. And we're going to call it Twitch Disease. Because then when people get infected, they could say, like, millions of people have been infected with Twitch Disease. And that's going to be cool. And we're about to see that. Tutorial, who cares? So, how you play. This you use to look around the world. And then this is kind of your news. This tells you kind of what's going on. So it says it was spotted in South Africa, which I guess is this. So as you can see, one person, oh, two people have been infected with Twitch disease. And so, yeah, um, all these black little things, that's the airplane, it's an airport. All these are ports. This is a boat. And flying around here, you see airplanes. Then you have hospitals and water, I don't know, drills or whatever. Those are um, great things to get infected is hospitals and these things because there's a lot of people that you can easily spread it through. Anyway, these things down here are your points, your disease points. And basically, you use these to level up your disease. So you have some option, or you have menu, yada, yada, yada. You have world, which tells how many people have been infected throughout the world. You have alive population, dead population, and a huge healthy population. Eventually, if it gets huge and they notice it, they'll start on a vaccine, so that's what this is. This is all the clean regions, and South Africa is the one infected one. So anyway, let's start upgrading our disease. So one thing is you kind of want to work out where it is. So it's South Africa. So that's kind of warm, kind of humid. Oops, wrong menu. So we kind of want to build up a resistance. We already have heat one. So we want to build up a resistance to moisture, which means it'll thrive in moist places. Still have 12 points, so let's also add a transmission. This is how it gets transmitted. And I think we want to transmit it through insects. Yeah. Oh. Yep, we can buy that. Sweet. And let's also do, just for the fun of it, cold, since we had enough points. Now this is your symptoms. And so you have these are the tier 1, and then you can unlock tier 2 for 10 points. And then there's tier 3 and tier 4 all get nastier and nastier things. So what I like to do is try to lay low, just have really 
really, you know, infected and try to infect everyone, but it doesn't really do anything to them. A fever is all it's gonna do. Which means that more people get infected, and then as soon as, like, everyone's infected, then I make it kill everyone. So as you can see, it's moving pretty slow, but it is, I don't know, it looks like we're starting to gain infected people, maybe. Anyway, these things on here use speed up time, so we're going to speed it up a lot. Tell it's a lot. <laughs> and now we're getting more people infected. Slowly but surely, you see there's people, hurricanes, and widespread flooding. We're getting some disease points. Oh, now we got nine. So let's close this. Let's get heat two. Yeah. So now it'll start to thrive in those warm places, which I'm hoping North Africa will be infected. So that you can, you know, spread it to different places. This one, hardest spot ever, because it's just one port. And, and what we'll do is if you they catch the disease, then they will close down ports. And that's not good, um, because then you cannot get it here. It's impossible. Another really hard spot is Cuba, because if they close down their airport and their port ports, it's pretty much there's no way you're getting it in there. Let's see, how many do we have? Ooh, we're getting up there. Ooh, we're going to have 50 people pretty soon. So that's going to be pretty cool. As for, I don't, I don't think it's spread anywhere else. Just waiting on these points. That's how this game, I guess, works. You wait on those points. And as you can see, it's very strategy. See, this is what I'm talking about. Airports, shipyards, hospitals, borders, transit, schools. You want all those to be open, because then that'll spread it. Let's get drug resistance. Why not? That way they can't just take Peptabismal and get rid of our disease because we can't make it that easy for them. And I'm hoping we'll get more infected people soon. I'm crossing my fingers. I'm hoping that hoping that we'll get it to Madagascar. We should probably have Waterborne if we want to get it to Madagascar. In fact, let's do that. Oh, need 10 points. Okay, we'll wait. Anyway, guys. So how are you? How's how's your life? How's life going? I'm 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 personally am pretty excited to be back on YouTube. I don't know if you guys are excited for me to be back on YouTube, <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping I go. Oh, there's ten. Sweet. Now I don't have to keep talking. Yay! <laughs> so now it's waterborne. Now it should go on those boats easier. And then I'm hoping that we can get Madagascar infected. How are we doing here? Ooh, yeah, now we're really starting to get people infected. That waterborne was the key. Almost have 500 people. Oh, now over 500 people infected. Pretty soon we'll, we'll see it spread to other places, but I want to see it spread specifically to Madagascar. That's kind of my goal, especially since we're so close. That would be helpful. All right, let's see. Now, what do we want it here? I think we want moisture too. Yeah. Ooh, see, we contaminated that. That's what that means, is it's contaminated, which means that it's going to spread way quick. See, look at that. It's going, we're hitting, once it starts, it's, it's, it goes quick. So, let's get that. Do we have enough for that? Not quite. Come on, get Madagascar. Okay. Whoa, lots of points. Let's get. Oops. Let's get rodents spreading it. Let's get some moisture. And not quite enough for heat four, but that'll change very quickly. I think we actually have enough now. And moisture four will be next. Oh, oh, it's spreaded. It's spread. Did it spread to here yet? No, it didn't. Come on. Look at now we have this. And this oh there's everyone. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's starting to shut down stuff. Uh oh, uh oh. And see, and then see it's starting to change color. That's because we're getting a lot of infected people. Okay, okay, wait. See, so here's all the infected. Here's the not. Madagascar. Okay, 
quick before they shut down have they shut down quick disease okay we want lots of stuff we want this to quickly end up in Madagascar before they shut that down okay come on come on come on oh they shut down their shipyard well we're pretty much not gonna get it there and see they begun on a vaccine well we're done with that I guess we'll get some drug resistance going on it really stinks we're not gonna get it in Madagascar though that means pretty much when we look at the world Madagascar is gonna be there by themselves Argentina doesn't have it yet and they've Oh, they still have an airport. We should be able to get it in their airport. Although they don't have an airport. Hmm. Why not get it in Argentina? And what's else? New Zealand? Yeah. New Zealand's gonna be hard to get it. But that's alright. We can have fun with the rest of the world. And leave them by themselves. Let's... Let's add some bad stuff to it. How about... Do you get it? You're gonna start vomiting. You know what, we can even s oh well, I like, I like fever. There we go. Now people are gonna start, I don't think we've killed anyone, nope. But look at, here's the infected population. There's the healthy population. We're, we're starting to, we're really starting to, to do this. Indonesia, okay. They have some, they're just not very well contaminated yet they're sending all sorts of stuff okay don't have enough for that yet see it starts to slow down now hmm saw some airports open still flying infected people around but not to the places I want them to go so do we have oh we still have healthy in North oh how about South Africa Ooh, yeah, don't have many healthy left. Hmm. Okay. Do we have enough? We do. Let's unlock this. Ooh. And that automatically gives us nausea, which is cool. What is this? Build up of fluids and... Ooh, that sounds cool. Diarrhea. Dementia. Ooh, we could do all sorts of fun stuff. All we need to do... Now it's back to the waiting game. Waiting for points. So we can start making people die. I don't think. Oops. See, these menus confuse me. Don't think we've killed it. No, have not killed anybody yet. Which I guess is a good thing if you're humane. But in this game, it's not very good. <laughs> you want to kill people. At least you're not shooting them. You're just, you're just, you know, making them sick. So, yeah. We're back to this, waiting. So, you know what? I think I'm going to pause the recording here until we get some points, because this is going to be pretty boring if we're just sitting here. And I'm just going around the map like this and waiting for our points to build. So, I'll see you guys in just Okay, second. guys. So, basically, we have some points now. Now some stuff, not really anything has happened yet, which is nice, because, you know, it's good. I don't like to hide stuff from viewers. Anyway, we have 14 points now, so let's give them, just curious how much, ooh, that's 15, that's a lot. Let's give them this thing. It's the buildup of fluids and inflammation in the lungs. It can be a serious health concern. Ooh, yeah, let's buy that. Yeah, and then we have five more points. I don't think we can buy anything other. Oh, but should we make them sweat? Oh, so evil. Yeah, and now they sweat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. First victims. Oh, did they say first victims? Have we killed people? Oh my goodness, we've killed people. As you can see, there's not many healthy people left. Only the people like here. But like if you go to America, there's no one healthy. Uh-oh. It's been developed. Okay, so their vaccine has been developed. So now we just need to... It's being deployed. As you can see. Oh, very quickly. Okay. Um, that's not good. So we're just hoping that we can kill 
tons of people. There's a lot of people we have to kill in order to do this, but we're racking it up. Look at this. Uh oh. Uh oh. The recently deployed vaccine has resulted in your disease mutating, becoming immune to any future vaccines. Well, I guess that's good. Except for, are we getting more healthy people? That's the thing I'm wondering. Is, are people going to start to be healthy? Or is this just going to keep them infected? I don't know. I don't know. I've never had it tell me that. I've just had it say, you lose. Huh. Well, Canada's not faring too well. But look at this. There's... There's nothing. And they're handing out water and masks and... Man, these governments are really doing everything they can. Fortunately, it won't be enough. Ooh, we need one more point for diarrhea. I want to make them poop. Because that would be evil. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now we make them... Frequently loose, frequent loose bowel movements often caused by gastrointestinal That's the technical term, and it can cause severe dehydration in the infected. It also slightly increases the chance of infected infecting other people. How does this work? Is what I want to know. So, like, do people diarrhea on other people and give them the disease? I don't know. I don't care. Let's just buy it. Oh, and there's these things down here. I probably should have mentioned. Now, lethality is pretty low still. Infectivity, which is still pretty low. And visibility, which is, yeah, it's about the same. So it's not really the best disease ever. But it's certainly getting the job done. We certainly are making that number go up. It's just going to take a little bit of time. But, like, let's check out China. China has about equal parts healthy and not healthy or alive and infected are about the same wait that doesn't make sense huh anyway people are dying everywhere oh a series of hurricanes hit madagascar maybe one of them will get the disease from the hurricane Ooh, that would be cool how are we doing here oh, okay so these pretty much are never going to be Never going to be, you know, like, used, I guess. They're, we're never going to get our disease in these, probably. All these will probably turn into Forsaken. It's just, it's just, you know, it just kind of stinks that we didn't get those three. They're going to be the only people. The entire world will be repopulated by Argentinians, Madagascarinians, and New Zealanders. Is that the name? I don't know. Let's just keep going. It's only like 2008. December 2008. Oh, it's almost Christmas. <gasps> it's my Christmas present to them. See? In just a few days, it'll be Christmas. It's the 23rd. Oh, it's Christmas Eve. Santa's flying around, hopefully spreading disease. And it's Christmas. Yay! China deals with widespread flooding on Christmas. Oh, Christmas is over. Oh, it's almost New Year's. Yeah, New Year's. Oh, look at all this devastation for the New Year party. We only have three days. And for my New Year's gift, I'm going to give... Wait, it has to turn New Year's. It's 2009. Yay. And for that, I'm going to give dementia to everybody. Oh, we didn't read what it is. It infects individuals more noticeable. It mental it decline in mental capacity and function due to disease in the brain so now everybody has dementia for my gift I know it's not a very good gift hurricanes hits Cuba oh no I hope that they're all right well they're not all right so yeah this game's kind of depressing kind of sad now now that everybody's Gonna make them sneeze and cough, too. Oh, man, they're just... You know, it's just kind of like, wow. I'm, I'm doing this to an entire population of humans. All in 2009. Look at all this devastation. What are we doing? 
Well, I can't count decimals. That looks like 723 million alive. And 5 billion dead, maybe? I can't tell. I don't know. We'll just wait. <laughs> As you can see, this game is kind of a little bit of waiting, which just gets a little dry. But that's what I'm here for, is to is to make the dry parts get be exciting. Yep, that's my job. Anyway, so, are you guys enjoying summer? There's a question I could ask. Um, you know, you can answer these in the comments, and I'll definitely take a look at them, you know. You guys enjoying summer? Are you guys having fun for summer? Are you guys on, like, a summer break? Uh, are you guys have a summer job? Things like that. You know, let, let me know how you're doing. I want to I wanna know how you guys are faring, hopefully better than these people in Russia who have only... 36,000 people left? Is that what that is? I'm really bad at numbers today. Just because they're so big numbers. Like South Africa. This is where we started. We should be pretty much done here. There's only a million people alive in here. I know I even can count that. And yeah, we only have a million people alive in South America. Yep. That's that's not good for them. Now it's less than a million. We have 700. Okay, quick. While that's going, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add source. Yeah. That's not good for them. Okay. Let's see if we can watch it hit zero. On South Africa, because we're down to half a million now. We were just at a million. And now we're down to 400 million. And. In the 300 million range. Now 200 million range. Ooh, we're getting down there. There won't be many people left. Ooh, I just realized South Africa. That's that's where the World Cup has been. Oh no, soccer is gonna be destroyed because of this. Oh, I'm having second thoughts. Oh, now, now we're less than 100,000 people in South Africa. Now we're at 50,000 people in South Africa. About. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, com Greenland completely devoid of life. Hmm. Well, we're about to have another place completely devoid of life. And Canada gets aftershocks, earthquakes, and Cuba has drought. Oh man, <laughs> we're like at 10,000 people left in South Africa. Oh man, that's not good. That's, however, that's that that is good for if you're the disease. That's good. Oh, we passed Valentine's Day. I was gonna give him a Valentine's Day present. Oh well. We're almost into March already. Whew. It's happening so fast. Can't stop that month. We're less than 10,000 now. Now we're less than 5,000. Alive people in South Africa. Now there's about 250,000. Or excuse me, 2,500. Very different. Now we're getting down to the last few people in South Africa. I wonder what they're thinking right now. Probably thinking, man, really wish I would have lived in Madagascar. Less than a thousand people. Probably having their final thoughts, final words. And, you know, they're thinking, man, I can't believe that this is the end. This is going to be my last few. Last few minutes of life and man this is going way slower than i thought it would we are down to less than 500 people in south africa this is this is this is quite a game i haven't been checking over here i wonder if there's other bad stuff going on i don't know now there's less than 100 people 
Oh, no sounds of life in Cuba. Well, Cuba's left. Cuba's gone before South Africa. And the last 50 people. Last 40, last 35, last 30 people. It's, it's, it's going down. And I thought it'd be done by now. So that's why I keep talking. Oh, it's so sad. There's 13 people left in South Africa. Now there's 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Three people alive. Are you kidding me? Come on. 2, 1. No signs of life in Japan, or Canada, or South Africa. Not Canada. Canada? There's nobody, there's nobody alive in Canada. Look at this. Every everything's dying. Japan, nobody alive. How's China doing? China's only has a few people left. Not not China. Holy cow, we have a lot of points. Let's unlock a new tier. Ooh, we got hypersensitivity. The chance for health complications. Good, good. Ataxia. It's a slightly noticeable condition that impedes movement. Infected kidney failure. Whew. Yeah, kidney failure is not good. Boils you easily expose others to your disease, but it's a very noticeable skin condition or cysts. Uh, I want kidney failure, but that's 22 to buy, and we only have eight. So I think. Hmm, should we get hypersensitivity? Yeah. So now we're increasing the lethality and the visibility. Everybody knows what's going on now, so I don't really care about that. Mexico wiped out. Well, East Europe wiped out. Nobody in Russia. Indonesia, nobody. Let's look at the world. World stage. We have still about... Okay, let me see. So after the two, that's that's that. And so that's 64 million healthy, and we have 6 billion dead, and 64 alive. So somewhere they're all hanging out. Well, not America. <laughs> we can watch United States get wiped out. Yep. Where, where are all these people hiding? Not in Mexico. Certainly not Peru. No, I guess all the places that don't have anyone infected would probably be where pretty much they all are. Because if you look, just India and China are the only two that are infected and have people left. Well, okay, not India. China will be the last one. Wow, it's almost done. Bam. Game over. Mankind has able, been able to successfully despise, despise your... Despite your best attempts, no one is left on Earth who is infected by your disease. So, with that, and my friends who are all dead now, except for the Madagascarians and the Argentinians, I'm going to go to the main menu. And I thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please send me games you want to see me play, because I'm going to start doing this again. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Thank you.